Hello viewers. We all pray sometime or the other. And we usually pray for ourselves. Jesus said to love others. And one way in which we can express our love for others is to pray for them. So let us begin. Let us pray for our beloved Pope Francis. Let's pray that God may grant him good health and wisdom to be a true shepherd to his people. We lift up in prayer April 2021. We pray for those who risk their lives while fighting for fundamental rights under dictatorships, authoritarian regimes, and even in democracies in crisis. Para defender los derechos humanos fundamentales hace falta coraje y determinación. Me refiero a oponerse activamente a la pobreza, a la desigualdad, a la falta de trabajo, de tierra, de vivienda, de derechos sociales y laborales. Piensen que muchas veces los derechos humanos fundamentales no son iguales para todos. Hay gente de primera, de segunda, de tercera y de descarte. No, tienen que ser iguales para todos. Y en algunos lugares defender la dignidad de las personas puede significar ir a presión, incluso sin juicio, puede significar la calumnia. Cada ser humano tiene derecho a desarrollarse integralmente y ese derecho básico no puede ser negado por ningún país. Recemos para que aquellos que arriesgan sus vidas luchando por los derechos fundamentales en dictaduras, en regímenes autoritarios e incluso en democracias en crisis, para que vean que su sacrificio y su trabajo dé fruto abundante. We pray for our Archbishop Philip Neri Ferrao. We pray for all the work that he is doing to draw the community in the diocese of Goa and Daman. Let us pray for all persons who have consecrated their life to the Lord. Grant them the grace to continue to work in the vineyard. Let us pray in a special way for our diocesan priests, especially those who celebrate their birthday today. Let's now pray for the Catholic charismatic renewal that it might be an instrument of renewal of the entire church. We pray for the mega convention to be held in Mumbai in October 2022 to mark the 50th anniversary of the CCR in India. All powerful and merciful God Hear our prayers and bless us. Help us to know your will and to do it with courage. Accept all our intentions and our work today. Make us aware of your mercy throughout the day.
cast out from our hearts the darkness of sin. Let the light of your face shed its light upon us. Illumine our day and lead us in ways that are level and smooth. Lord, bless and protect us from all evil and sickness. Let us experience your compassionate love. Look tenderly on us. Unite our families with the cords of love. Make us instruments of peace in the world. Help us not to be self-centered, but be helpful and merciful towards all. Enable us to be compassionate towards the elderly and honor them. Lord, help us to share our joy and our love with the sick and the suffering. Bless and protect all students attending schools and colleges. Protect all travelers and lead them to safety. Comfort the farmers and protect their interest. Bless and protect our children and our families. Bless our government, our country and the world. Let's now pray for the prayer groups in Goa that they may be an instrument to encourage spiritual growth in all those who attend the prayer meetings. Let us keep the following petitions in our prayers. For a man looking out for a suitable life partner. A mother-in-law requests prayers for her son-in-law who has filed for divorce. They have an 18-month-old baby. For a person in Mumbai with COVID. For a person whose oxygen levels are fluctuating. For a man having loose motions and vomiting. For a mother and son having fever. For a court case going on for many years that there may be a favorable decision. A mother requests prayers for her two children who are getting blood clot like patches on their bodies. For a three year old boy who still cannot speak properly. For a man in UK whose one artery is blocked. For a priest in Mumbai who is critical with COVID. For a lady who had a surgery recently. For three men having COVID. For a lady having COVID. A lady requests prayers for her husband who is in the process of divorcing her. For a man in hospital who is critical. For a diabetic lady just recovering from COVID. For an eight month baby having fever. For a lady who had a fall and cannot move her arm. For a man having diabetes. For a lady having chest pain. For a lady having skin allergies, for two ladies in hospital due to cancer. Let us pray for all those afflicted with COVID-19. 
Let us pray to God to protect our country and state, witnessing a second wave of COVID. Let us pray for all the doctors, nurses and paramedics. Pray also for your personal intentions. Finally, let us thank the Lord for all the answered prayers. Let us lift up all our intentions mentioned in this program as we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us, us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it as was, was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. You are not alone. Your brothers and sisters will support you in prayer. If you have a prayer intention, all you need do is to WhatsApp 800-745-7376 or 992-187-7376. Eight four four six, or make a voice call between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. Be assured that a committed group of persons will lift your prayer request to the Lord.